welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you're here. So today I have a really fun Trash to Treasure project planned and I can't wait to show it to you. So right now we are in the corner of my little kitchen. I thought it might be neat to turn this area into a little beverage station. So in the summer we could have lemonade and sweet tea and then in the fall apple cider and hot cocoa in the winter and of course coffee all year round. So I grabbed a few items from both around the house and on various thrift store trips that I thought I could put together and they would work to make a really cute little beverage station. And since lemons are a big thing right now, this will start out as a lemonade stand. So here's what I found. So this old cheddar came from our local restore and I think it would make an adorable lemonade sign. This teacup display rack came from our Goodwill and I think with just a little paint it can be really cute. And then I also had this table, I've had it for years, and I thought it would be just the right size for this area. And if you can see down here, there's this little scalloped detail, which kind of matches this, and I thought that would look pretty cute together. So, lastly, I grabbed a plastic pitcher. As much as I think old vintage glassware is gorgeous, there's just no place in my house for a glass pitcher to be sitting around. But with a little bit of paint, I think this could be just as pretty. So right now, all of this might not look like too much, but once it's painted and put together, I think it is going to be just adorable. So let's get started. Let's start with a fresh coat of white on the shutter in Waverly's white chalk paint. Now that the shutter is white, I am going to paint a very light yellow grain sack stripe across the background of this sign. I think that will help to unify the two rectangles and make the sign look a bit more cohesive. So I taped off where I didn't want the paint to go and now I am just applying the light yellow paint. Now that it's dry, we can go ahead and remove the painter's tape and see how it turned out. And I am liking this look. So the stripes are dry, and now I want to sketch in some lemons to paint around the edges. So I printed out fresh squeezed lemonade, and I'm just gonna kind of lay it where it will go so that I can decide where I'm gonna draw the lemons. And now we can go ahead and apply the vinyl words that I printed out on my silhouette. Here it is all finished. I think it's a big change from the original red shutter that we started with. And now that the sign is done, I am moving on to this little shelf and also giving it a fresh coat of white paint. Once this piece was white, I also did a quick distress on some of the edges just to bring out a few of the fun details that it had. Lastly, this piece was just sealed with a coat of wax. Now that the shelf is finished, let's get started on this table. The table is going to be black and I'm going to try out this color by Waverly called Ink. I have not used it before, so we'll see how it goes. Got it says birds in the bird house we made. <laughs> just in case you were wondering. So before painting, I went ahead and took all the knobs off and then gave this piece a good wipe down with, of course, some help from Raider. I like it already. This black color turned out so pretty, but I decided it would be a bit heavy if I did the whole thing in black, so I'm using Press and Seal to black off the bottom, and I'm gonna paint the top a wood type color. Now the top is finished, and here is the piece all done and all put back together. I just love it. Right, so this little corner is coming along and now I just want to paint this 
little scent here and give it a little lemony touch. So I am just using these multi-surface paints to paint a fun little lemon design on all of the cups and the pitcher. First, some leaves on all of the glasses. as well as on the pitcher. And then we'll add in the lemons. I also decided to throw a few little white flowers into the design. And that is it for the glasses. And lastly, I decided to paint a quick little lemon on this 99 cent chalkboard sign from Walmart. Now that all of these pieces are finally finished, let's put everything together. This scale that it had made in a previous video would be the perfect place to display a few lemons. I also thought these glasses that I had made with my silhouette would add just the right pop of black on the shelf to tie in with the black table that we painted. And we'll finish it off with this pretty garland draped across the top of the shelf. All right, so that is it. It is all finished. I just love how it turned out from the green table to the dark wood rack to the red shutter. I think that this came so far and I can't wait to start Christmas here in the summer and then put apple cider and pumpkins in the fall. I think this is gonna get a lot of use love it. That is it for this Trash to Treasure makeover. I really hope you enjoyed it and please like and subscribe this channel so I can see you again next time. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.